Hello and welcome to This Week on 33rd Street. I'm your host, sports editor Holden McGinnis, and joining me today, sports editor Colin Henderson and other sports editor Ian Lamar Wenick. All right, so we're going to look ahead to this weekend. We're looking at uh, men's basketball going up against Lafayette and football going up against Cornell. First off, Ian and I taking the trip up north this weekend to the one and only Ithaca. Ian, what are you looking forward to seeing against that big red? Well, I'm looking forward to one, some perfect football weather. It's going to be under 4 degrees, nice and chilly out. And I'm looking forward to everyone else looking forward to seeing whether Al Bagnoli can get a win in his last game as Penn coach. He hasn't wanted the season to be about him at all, but he got a little bit emotional today at his weekly media luncheon when volleyball coach Kerry Carr and a bunch of other Penn Athletics coaches and a bunch of the football assistants came over and surprised him and just spoke about him. And Al almost cried at the conference, which is something that's really rare to see. Mm -hmm. And Penn really has a golden matchup this week. I mean, Cornell, ever since Jeff Matthews, their quarterback, left for the NFL, he's on the Colts practice squad, they've just collapsed. They have no pass on it to speak of. And I think they're right for the picking for Penn to get a win. Yeah, honestly, this is one where the, the Quakers can definitely pull off their second win of the season and send out Bagnolia with a win. It'd be a great one for Penn. Another team, this one searching for its first win of the season, Penn men's basketball going up this weekend as a Lafayette team that beat Princeton handily today. Um, Colin, your thoughts? Yeah, so Penn men's basketball, obviously not an ideal start to the season. A lot of young players um, trying to get broken in for the Quakers. Obviously, there are going to be some growing pains. And um, I think it's a little unreasonable to expect their first win of the season to come against a Lafayette team that handily beat Princeton today, I believe, 83-66. to 66. Mm -hmm. So I also want to send a shout-out to Lafayette repping the Lehigh Valley, repping my hometown, Nazareth, Pennsylvania. Anyone who's watching, what's good? Hey, oh, shout-out to Nazareth. <laughs> and uh, looking forward to this game. We're, we're going to do, do some game. predictions. We're, we're going to do some predictions for this weekend. Starting off, Cornell Penn football, what are your Spiro prediction, Ian Wenick? I'm going to say Penn takes this one easily. They're quite inspired. I'm going to say Penn 35, Cornell 10. Honestly, I see this one. There's a lot of potential for a safety in this one. you got you got two really strong defenses. No, well, not quite. Well. But <laughs> honestly, this is one that's going to end up being a lot closer than I, I think Ian's predicting. I'm going to say Penn wins it on a safety 16-14. to 14. Yeah, I think this is one where you throw out the X and O's. Penn gets a win for Al Bagnoli. It's going to be an emotional game. I, I see Penn winning 24-17. And then obviously the other game in the weekend that we were looking at with our boy Colin right here, Penn men's basketball playing against Lafayette, searching for their first win. We'll start this time with Colin. Your prediction, good sir. Yeah, to be perfectly honest, I don't see this one being very close. I see Lafayette winning handily, probably about 77 to 55. Yeah, honestly, if they're gonna if they're gonna take off a, a Princeton squad that's definitely projected to to beat Penn by a good margin by uh, by 17, it's not gonna be any closer for Penn. I'm gonna call this one. Uh, Lafayette 80, Penn 50. Ian? Well, I was covering the Penn game against Ryder on Tuesday, and they got completely torched from three-point land. And Lafayette has a forward, Seth Heinrichs, who can just drill it from three. I think he's going to hit yeah. seven three-pointers against the Quakers. This All is right. going to be a 90-71 like to like Leopards win. All right, you've got it right here. Uh, for uh, Colin Henderson, Ian Lamar Wenick, I'm Holden McGinnis, and this was This Week on 33rd Street. Thanks.